something on your mind, do you? You got yourself a fast little ship? <laughs> I forgot what engine sounded like. The closest thing to that on Kashik is an uller in mating season. Ugh, frightful. Or it could be for the free food. What's the gunk that comes out of the synthesizer on this bucket anyway? Do you never clean the darn thing? How impatient can one person be? You must have driven your mother mad. All that gurgling and fussing. <laughs> Babies are cute, but annoying. You know, you remind me of someone else I knew ages ago. Pleasant enough fellow, great destiny. All of that, breath like a bantha. So I am. Tell you what. When you get to be my age, you can go ahead and answer any question you like to. You have my permission. Anyway, uh, where was I? Oh yes, 
Andor Vex was his name. The Force swirled around him like a hurricane. That's how great his destiny was. I did. Just because someone has the Force swirling about them doesn't always mean they have a great destiny. But it doesn't hurt to check it out. Well, it turned out that poor Andor believed a wee bit too much in the infallibility of that destiny. That overconfidence turned out to be his downfall. I don't know. Are you overconfident? I hadn't noticed. Even if I had, I would never comment on it. We're talking about Andor, remember? Let's see. Oh yes, Andor's downfall. I was pretty young myself when it happened. At the time, I thought that Andor's destiny couldn't be more boring. Well, he had a much better food dispenser than you do. That and the fact that even I wasn't an altogether impatient twit. I was just about to abandon Andor to whatever the Force intended for him when his ship was overtaken by a Dimian warship. Now, you've probably never heard of the Dimians, but at the time, they were a nasty lot led by a nastier overlord named Krat. Tall fellow, big teeth. Krat has us hauled onto the bridge of his ship for questioning, and that's when I knew that Andor's destiny was at hand. Well, Andor decides that his destiny makes him invulnerable and starts making all sorts of demands. Free me now. I'm not answering questions. Blah, blah, blah. Don't you know who I am? Krat decides he's had enough and begins crushing Andor's neck. I told the boy he should have kept his mouth shut. I think he agreed, too. Or this could have just been gurgling noises. Oh, well, anyway. Finally... Grant has enough of Andor and tosses him aside into this giant energy intake shaft. Andor gets sucked in and starts bouncing around, <laughs> screaming. <laughs> Maybe Andor hit something sensitive on the way down or just didn't agree with the reactor core. Next thing I know, all the ship's alarms are ringing. Everyone panics and I run, barely making it to the ship in time before the explosion. Krat dies horribly, and the Dimians never quite recovered. Changed the political course of the entire sector for centuries to come. I'd call that quite a destiny, wouldn't you? What? Are you kidding? What are the odds of that happening anyway? A billion to one? You should do so well as to be sucked into the engine of some evil Sith Lord, you know. Andor was a hero. Sort of. Anyway, go on. My throat is dry and you're making me cranky. Shoo! Got something on your mind. I suppose not to... Got something on your mind. Got something on... Oh, I... Thank you. 